Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I want to make a video today that absolutely nobody saw coming, not a single soul. I wanted to take a look at what wild cards I don't want to see return from wild, and like I said, really original, really, oh, oh. A lot of people like that comment, but regardless, we're going to make this, we're going to make this video. I, I mean, it's predictable, but I thought it'd be fun. We, we took a look at the cards that I, I would love to see come back and a lot of people agreed. A lot of people disagreed and I'm sure we'll have the same kind of sentiment with this one today, but yes, let's take a look at 10 cards from wild that I absolutely 100% do not want to see return into the core set. And again, it'll be the same rules. I'm not going to include hall of fame cards because they already said shadow forms, only hall of fame card that's going to come back and I'm not going to include cards that are like you know from the prior year they're just being rotated now so let's get into it let's take a look so starting off with number 10 i'm just gonna lump them together and that's highlander cards i don't want to see any highlander cards at least for this year i don't want to see reno i don't want to see kazakis not none of those cards we're we're just having like zephyrus and dragon queen and brian and all those rotate out i'd like to keep you know the deck structure the deck types a little bit unique this time around so i don't really want to see reno i don't want to see those cards because again we've just gone through like since old doom came out like a year and a half of highlander decks in standard and i'd like to see you know just get away from that for a little bit maybe bring them back you know another year maybe next year or something like that bring it but for this year, just no Highlander cards, please. I don't want that high variance, like, oh, he drew Reno, I lose type of thing. Let's uh, let's take a one-year break. Not against the cards, just a one-year break. At number nine, I'm going to go with Spreading Plague because I just, even though I don't hate the card and I'm a Druid guy, I play this card more than probably most people have ever, I just, I don't want to see Plague come back. It's too good. It's too ridiculous. It infuriates too many people. It's just a broken card. Six mana Druid spell, get a bunch of one five taunts. Um, and Druid already with Token Druid is going to be pretty damn good going into next year with Arbor Up being really strong. And I just, I don't think you want to add Plague to the mix and it would just be uh, a little too OP OP in my opinion. Speaking of that, at number eight, the legendary weapon Kingsbane. I am getting beaten to death <laughs> by this in Wild right now. And with all the insane like aggro cards that are available to Rogue in standard with like Nitro Boost Poison, this card would just be insane. Um, it's just one of those build around archetype things. And I, I feel like we already got self sharpening sword. We already got some ridiculous stuff in rogue. We don't want to throw King's Bane into the mix because things would just get a little bit crazy. There's no tutor for weapons in rogue, which would make it a little bit worse. But when you have like swindle secret passage, I still, I still think bringing a legendary weapon back like King's Bane would just be too much and too, you know, like deck defining. I don't think they want to bring back cards that are going to define decks. And a lot of cards on this list will be like that just for that reason. And let's hope they don't go down that road. Number seven, I'm going to go with a Death Knight in Death Stalker Rexar, beloved by many a people. Even I love playing some Death Stalker Rexar. We are finally going to go without Death Knights, without infinite value generation in standard at once rotation hit. The Priest and Rogue Galakrons are gone. There's really no infinite value left. So you bring a card like Deathstalker Rex are back into the equation. Well, that would again bring infinite value back. And I don't think we want to go down that road again yet. You never know. Maybe you bring back all the infinite value generators one year, bring back the Galacrons, the Death Knights, all that. But right now, I think it'd be a nice break to have like literally not one single hero card in the game. And yes, I know I suggested and said I want Jaina back in my last video. But again, I said that's not a good idea. It's just a personal preference. And I just don't think it's the right time yet for it. But maybe in a year or two, we could talk about it. Number six, I'm going to go with the neutral legendary Prince Keliseth. Two mana, two, two. Buffs some minions in your deck, plus one, plus one. This card's not that great and wild these days. But you bring a high roll, high spike win rate card like this into standard, well, it can warp the meta yet again. And I think there are decks that could make this work. And I just, I don't think, I, I think Blizzard's for the most part got away from these real, really high win rate spike cards, except for like Imprisoned Scrap Imp was kind of like that. And they nerfed that in a hurry. I just think you want to, not have cards like Prince Kelset back in the game. It, it It's kind of interesting. It could lead to interesting build around and deck building, but when, I just don't think it's something we want to see back. And I personally just it terrified of the thought of Prince Kelset back in standard. At number five, I'm going to go with the Priest Board Clear Psychic Scream. Because it's Psychic Scream, it's absurd. It's disgusting. It's way too good. And it would make Priest even more ridiculously obnoxious than it is right now. And I think Priest is going to be an issue going forward and we might have 
I, I need to make that priest video. I keep talking about it. It's going to come soon. I promise. But yeah, psychic scream way too good, way too ridiculous. And just please blizzard. Don't give priest anything more like this. No more obnoxious, no more hate towards human life and decency. We just, I can't take any more of this type of stuff. Which leads me to number four, Eternal Servitude or any other res mechanic from Wild. Don't do it. Don't make more big, like, I'm worried they might do it because they print like the Idol of Yashiraj or whatever it's called. And they print Blood of Gahoon. They they brought some res mechanics back to Priest. And they're like, well, maybe we'll bring some back from Wild. People love their res priest. And no, no, I know a lot of people play it, but secretly they hate it. Just, just no, no res mechanics, no Eternal Servitude, no Resurrect, just, just, just no. None of that, please. So let's just not have that come back as I might actually have an aneurysm and just completely lose my mind. At number three, I'm gonna go with the Shaman Legendary Shutterwalk. Again, this would be like a ridiculous way to make Shaman good. And I'm worried that like, well, Shaman's been really bad for a long time in standard and it's only aggro that's ever good. Maybe we should bring Shutterwalk back since it was so good for Shaman. Yes, it's good because it's broken. It's a broken card that repeats battle cries. It's going to make any Shaman deck pretty much good. And yeah, Shaman's been in a problem ever since Shutterwalk got Hall of Famed. It's not a coincidence, but I do hope that they have like a big plan for Shaman in this rework and that does not include just shortcutting it and throwing Shutterwalk into the mix because yes, Shutterwalk would be absurd back in Shaman, but it's a busted card repeat repeating all battle cries just think of all the implications that could have in standard the power level of guard like that i know shaman's in rough spot but please don't go down this road number two i'm gonna go with the druid spell another druid spell but i think you'll see why jade idol jade idol no jade cards like just period all across the board jade maybe you could do jade rogue because jade rogue was never that great and maybe it could be interesting but jade idol in particular for druid infinite value like i said we don't need that back it's like um, even if you bring skulking geist with it just don't go down this road let jade idol be jade idol and wild forever and ever i think this is a card that should never come back at any point let alone a year or two like some of these other ones that you could consider jade idol just creating infinite value destroying all control strategies Strategies, unless you have a card like Skulking Geist or your own better infinite value. I just don't want to see it. It's still viable and wild. Let it roam in wild and just, just, just keep it away from standard. Before we get into number one, I'm going to go over a couple of honorable mentions. First, Muster for Battle, three mana spell for Paladin. You get Lights Justice, three, one, one recruits. This card is just one of the best Paladin cards ever made. Still pretty much an auto include in almost every Paladin deck, period, unless it's like really late gamey, but it's just a super good card. And let's keep it away from Paladin. They don't need it. They're already pretty good right now. Can you imagine this in like Libram Pure Paladin or just a Libram Paladin? It would just be ridiculous. Let's keep Muster where it belongs in Wild where it's a damn good card there. Next is Cobalt Librarian. One minute, two, one. Minion for Warlock. You draw a card, you deal two damage to your hero. And this card makes Dark Lair absolutely busted and wild. And imagine if you would throw that into standard, it would be a nightmare. It was an auto include card. Again, I don't think they would ever go down this road. It's why an honorable mention, but again, you don't want these like power defining like auto include cards to be cards you bring back because in my opinion, you want to bring back cards that kind of support stuff or like can, you know, just help an archetype out that's already existing that maybe hasn't been that great ever. But uh, Cobalt is just completely broken on its own in basically every Warlock deck ever. So let's not go down that road. And lastly, uh, last honorable mention, Patches the Pirate. Again, I don't think they would ever bring Patches back. One of the most played legendaries ever. Uh, it's, you know, it got nerfed. It's still ridiculous even without charge. I can't imagine they bring it back, but you never know. They always love pushing the Pirate archetype, especially Pirate Warrior. You got like Sword Eater there. Maybe they want Sword Eater Patches to be a thing in standard. I doubt it. But again, I'll just throw it out there because I really... I still see patches like every day I play wild. I don't need to see it again in standard. So lastly, the number one card I absolutely do not want to see return to standard is the Caverns Below the Rogue Quest. Do I need to say much more than this? Even though it's been nerfed like 80,000 times and it's not even that playable in wild, you have to play five minions just to get four fours for the rest of the game. Let's not ever venture down this road. Maybe it wouldn't be that great. I don't care. I don't want to find out because it's just one of the most toxic, polarizing, obnoxious cards of all time. Could be pretty fun to play. I actually played a fair amount of it myself because I'm I'm a de degenerate player. I like to do degenerate things. Hell, I was playing Real Rogue the other day. That is awful. Nobody should do that, but I did it because I'm I'm kind of kind of awful that way. 
But regardless, I don't want to see the caverns below back. We don't want to go down that road because what if it has to get nerfed like five more times, six more times, 20 more times? The caverns below will end up giving your charge minions plus one attack by the time this is all done. Let's just let caverns below stay in wild where it's basically irrelevant and just let it rot, let it die, where it definitely deserves to be. So there you have it. There's my list. I'm sure you guys have plenty of suggestions of your own and plenty you disagree with. And again, this is more of a fun list. This is just like, who knows what they're gonna bring back, but let's hope, at least I hope, that none of these cards make their list. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.